Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Tanny, and I'm bringing you another video. Actually, this is from all the five parts that I'm going to be doing. I don't even know the order of these videos, but they're just going to exist, so you guys can use any any of these videos for your GFX. But anyway, anyway, so I'm going to be showing you how to do this simple rim light under five minutes. It's going to be fast, easy, and simple to understand. Also, another thing you should know, I'm using Blender 3.0, and you can use Photoshop or Photopia. It does not matter. And yeah. See you guys in the video. So as you guys can see here, I have my, as you can see, object or main character that I'm going to be using. Now, the first step is going to be setting up our character. So this character is actually going to be in the description so you guys can download and use because as you guys can see, I am using kind of different settings. Especially with the subdivision surface. Also, honestly, this rig is not by me. It is by Matt uh, Riggs, I'm pretty sure his name is. His name is on the screen right now. So you guys can download this rig from him if you want. Because he actually improved this rig even, even more. But I'm going to be doing it for him, like, if that makes sense. I've been talking so much and so fast. Let's just get to the video. This is a step I actually forgot to tell you guys. And that is to make sure you got a stock render. That means without the whole rim light thing. Just a normal render that you have that you can then use for the room light so first thing you want to do is disconnect the texture from the base color just like this now when i go into a window view also make sure you're in cycles now all you guys can see the character is black so i'm gonna do the exact same thing to the hats of the character so this is gonna take a minute and there we go now, as you guys can see, this is awful. This is honestly awful. So first thing you want to do is make your background transparent, just like so. Create a camera, just so you guys can see what you guys are doing. And let's just give this player a pose. It doesn't matter what which pose, but. And there we go, now that you have posed it, next thing you want to do is go into the world icon go into color and make this entirely black just like that now the next thing you're gonna do is create an area light you're gonna scale it up bring it behind the character and just bring up the power now as you can see it looks like this but this is doodoo so let's change the color to let's say about Maybe like this, yeah. And I'll create another one just behind them at the other side, just like this. And as you guys can see, this is already starting to look good, but not as good as we can. So another thing you guys can do is scroll all the way down to color management, change it from huge, change it from filmic, my bad, to raw. As you guys can see, the colors are, have changed a bit. Also, I'm sorry for my activate windows um watermark i'll be sure to actually deal with that next video and just bring the gamma up to one and maybe the exposure a little bit or maybe have it like this just like that and as you guys can see this is how you do your rim light now the last step is you want to enable denoise you can use optics or open image denoise, it does not matter. You can use whatever you want. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using um, optics. But I'm going to be setting my render samples to 1000. This is going to make your render a lot slower if you have a less better computer. But at the end, the results are worth it. So let me just render this out so you guys can see how this looks. As you guys can see, this is our window right here. Pretty simple. I'm now going to be showing you how to put it in Photoshop. And if you use Photopea, it's the same like steps. So let me just save this as a PNG. And name it Wim Light. Welcome to Photoshop. <laughs> Anyways, first thing you want to do when you once you get into Photoshop is have the rim light over your stock uh, window, <clears throat> just like this. And you want to change it from normal to color dodge. 
as you guys can see this is already starting to give us a much better effect and not just a color we can see and let me just change the color you can do this by clicking control plus u and this will bring up the hue saturation um settings and you guys can play with this one i'm gonna make this orange just like this and i'm gonna copy i don't i'm gonna duplicate this by clicking control plus j there we go now another step i like to do is creating a new layer and then making it a clipping mask then another thing you want to do let me just find the color of this i need a white color just like this this orange color make sure your brush is set to soft soft there we go and just hit these points hit some points in your render just like this you want to change it from normal to let's say screen and you want to play with the fill and the opacity just like this now another thing i like to do is make another copy of the rim light now we got three I'm going to moisturize this layer. And then the only thing I'm going to do now is, if I can find it, go, go into the store and wave. And let me just play around with this. And you guys can copy my settings. So I'm like this. Now, this is actually a new thing you guys can use. This is optional, but you can also use the erase tool. But you click this. Now, this brings you this white solid background, and you're like, okay, what does this do? Make sure your brush color is set to black, just so you can delete. Make sure your brush is also set to soft. And you just want to tap places you want to remove, like, these lines. Just like this. And this is already starting to look much better. The last step I like to do to make this a simple video is just play with the exposure by maybe bringing it down a bit playing with the offset okay maybe not too much okay maybe like this yeah and with the gamma now i'm gonna load the opacity of this layer then i'm gonna create a gradient map and i'm gonna make it a soft light gonna load actually i'm gonna load the opacity just like this bring the saturation by adding a vibrance and adding a color balance so we can have a maybe like cyan towards like this this color correction i'm using right now is going to be in the description just so you guys can use this like this entire psd is going to be in the description if you guys don't understand anything and if you need help you can join our discord server where i will be sure to assist you and this is honestly it. I hope this video is actually less than 5 minutes, but without me explaining Photoshop, it should be, I hope, under 5 minutes. But yeah, hope you guys actually enjoyed, enjoyed this video. Please, please join our Discord server. Please, we are trying to revive this server so bad. And yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Now, be sure to click one of these videos. I don't know what are these, but <laughs> they're there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and have a blessed day.